Hey everybody, I just got back from my walk. I don't know if this is tilted or not. I actually did about 22 minutes on the gazelle and then I walked um, for about 30 minutes and then I jogged for about two. Um, I had wanted to get together, to, there may be several videos of this, of just some recipes that I use. And then I'll show you the list if I have time. If not, you can always look at the video called Fat Burning uh, Foods List, which is pretty much, I compiled a whole list of different types of foods that help you burn burn fat. Um, but these are just some of the recipes that I use, especially with, with vegetables. I know a lot of people aren't a huge fan of vegetables. Um, that's why I kind of like bake them, just so I could get that crunchy feeling uh, or sensation. But one of my, one of the ones that I just actually recently did was um, roasted asparagus. Um, I took half of the, I bought the fresh, the fresh, um, I guess, bunch. I took about half of those, I cut off the, the rough end of the top, I chopped off, I guess, the root, and I cut it in half to where there's probably about two and a half to three inch long stalks, more or less, and I took about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I kind of put it in a bowl, and I mixed it up, and I added some, some garlic, I'm a huge fan of garlic, <laughs> so I added garlic on there, you could, if you wanted plain, fine, if you want to add a different seasoning, Go ahead, and I put it in the oven at 450 for about 15 minutes, and that left it really nice and crunchy to where I'm going to do it again. <laughs> um, another one is, I guess, roasted cauliflower. Um, the same, pretty much the same thing as the, the, the asparagus. I buy the fresh one. If you have the frozen one, that's fine, but I buy the, the, the fresh one. And I chop off the stalks, and then I put it in a bowl, and I put about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I mix it up to where it's covered or slightly covered, and then I drizzle nutmeg over it. And then I put it in a glass, an oven safe container. I don't want to get sued over this, people. And I like mine really crunchy, so I bake it at about 400 for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, obviously, the bigger the, the florets are, the longer you should let it cook. But I really like it crunchy. And you can tell when the nutmeg on top is kind of like burned. <laughs> and the edges of the cauliflower are kind of burnt, then then it's, it's, it's getting there. <laughs> Another one of my favorite, um, don't judge me, <laughs> it's on the list, people, um, is actually cod, codfish. Um, I grew up on codfish, um, and I absolutely love this recipe. Uh, I first boil the codfish. I probably boil it in total like 20 minutes. I let it boil for about 10 minutes, and I dump the water and I bring it to a boil again just to get as much of the salt out as possible. Once I do that, uh, or while that's going, I chop up onions. Whatever kind of onion you like. I love onions, especially when they're, they're kind of cooked. Um, and I have a frying pan. I put some olive oil in it, maybe like two tablespoons. Um, and I kind of cook the onions in the olive oil and then I add the codfish to it and I again I like it I like it crunchy so I like it when it's all kind of almost borderline to where you can't eat it because it's so burnt um, and that maybe take about five ten minutes depending on what I try to keep it on a medium on the stove just so it won't cook too quickly or too or you know slower and that's about it. it um, all those foods are on the fat burning list. Let me take you over to it if we have time. And here is the list. Say hi to Happy Bunny. Here is the list. I need to bring up like a Word document and just copy into the, the description. And of course asparagus is number 59 on the list. Um, olive oil is number 25. Cauliflower is 74. Um, the codfish is number 76. And the onions is number 45. I didn't find nutmeg on there. I don't know if nutmeg is on there. It may kind of work like cinnamon to where it has that, that hot sensation. And it, it may kind of work the same way as cinnamon. That's what my guess is. So here is the list. Those are three of my recipes. Or the ones that I use.
and hopefully I will have tons more because I do like to experiment um, in the kitchen, especially when it comes to, to cooking and baking. Well, that's, what else would you do in the kitchen if it's not cooking or baking? Because <laughs> Lord knows I hate doing dishes even though I have to do them. <laughs> um, but that was